Uh, it, I, I'll tell you what, Tim, it's, it's really accurate, actually. Yeah. Very accurate indeed. You know. Um, oh, oh you're right. Was, yeah. That could have been, that could have been fatal. Yes. One day it's over, baby. Someday we'll find a way out. When all our strings are broken, you'll see that we could do without. When all our dreams are over, when all our hopes are dead. With this town turning colder, with all our colors bleeding red. A big rink of when the storms are hit. I sing you any song you wanna hear. everybody so this morning was a little bit hard getting up out of bed um, it was a three o'clock rise just so I can travel down to uh, the foot of Cat Bells which is what we're on now and start my hike up which took probably about an hour with all of the the b-roll that I wanted to try and shoot on the way up um, but it's quite a steep hike up to Cat Bells but nonetheless the 3 a.m. rise and the steep climb was well worth it especially this morning the conditions have been superb so uh, as i said today i'm up on cat bells and cat bells again is kind of like on the northern end of the of the lake district and just behind me you've got uh there skiddle and uh, just down below you've got uh, derwent water and then just above the water, you've got uh, Keswick as well. And just over there, uh, where it's <laughs> all blown out, that's where the sun was rising from. So you get a really good direction of sunrise um, up there and you get a great view for it. Uh, so onto compositions. We uh, did the classic one that you normally do with uh, uh, cat bells so just behind me you've got the ridge line of cat bells it just comes up to it use that as a little bit of kind of foreground interest and a little bit of a leading line as well and then we've also got these rocks just down here use them again as a little bit of a foreground interest especially now that the lights hitting them it gives a really really um, it just brightens them up and shows them off really well uh, so yeah that's uh, the classic composition and then just behind me when the light popped up we got start to get some really lovely light on these fells just here now just in front of me um, I believe the, I believe it was the National Trust added this summit cairn uh, which if I just shoot you on top so it just gives you uh, there we go it just gives you uh, the viewpoint uh, and all the fell names and everything else that you can see um, and it's a really nice addition to the fell in my opinion because they've used it uh, well kept it in keeping with uh, with the fell itself and also adds a lovely bit of foreground interest to the fells in that kind of direction as well so that was one of the images using that as a little bit of foreground interest especially when the the morning light just started hitting that it looked absolutely gorgeous so yeah so far we've had a good morning um so i did kind of two versions of uh, the shot i mentioned earlier so i did a panoramic so i did a full pan round especially when we had the pre-dawn colors coming through uh just to capture all of that color that was coming from that direction and also capture all of this 
kind of uh, foreground interest, leading line and everything else. So yeah, just capturing the full scene of it. And then when the light popped up and we started getting light hitting that, um, I just kind of more or less focused in that kind of direction. Also done a portrait version of the, of the shot as well. Looked really, really nice. Um, so settings on, on these were F11 and uh, ISO 100, shutter speeds and all of that. I'll pop all of that in the description of the video. And filter wise, so it pretty much the usual suspects. So the 0.9 soft edge grad on there and also the polarizer on there too. And as always, the time lapse has been running as well. So similar composition. So I've been trying to try and capture the the few clouds that we've got in the sky um capturing some of them moving watching that sunrise and then hopefully getting also some light hitting on the uh on the lower part of the fell just down there uh so hopefully they've turned out really well um settings on the time lapse uh f8 uh auto shutter speed and we were at iso 200 on that and we were taking a photo about every seven seconds and we took around about 370 of those in the end so uh, that should give us a, a fairly decent looking time lapse so we'll see how that turns out okay so i'm gonna uh, carry on just to see if there's any more images to be had and just generally enjoy the morning for what it is so i shall catch you guys in a bit It's over, baby. Someday we'll find a way out. When all our strings are broken, you'll see that we could do without. When all our dreams are over, when all our hopes are dead. With this town turning colder, with all our colors bleeding red. A big wrinkled when the storms are hit. I sing you any song you wanna hear. Okay, so it looks like we've got some great images this morning and we had some superb color coming from that sunrise this morning too. Uh, and even now, you know, with the, the sun's up fully, we're getting some great light down in that valley at the minute too. Okay, so Cat Bells, it's a really great location, great fell to come up and especially to try and photograph sunrise as well. It's really, really, good location for it however it does have its challenges trying to get up here so it's quite steep in places so you know it also almost involves like scrambling up so you know just be aware if you are new to fell walking uh, or new to coming up to the lake district it's something that you'd probably want to leave you know until you've got a little bit more experience and make sure you've got a good pair of walking boots when you're doing it as well 
Um, but yeah, just try and tackle some of the smaller fells first, get some experience on doing something like that, and just come up here, you know, especially if it's your first time, try and come up here when the weather's good, you know, because the rock can be slippy. So yeah, just be aware of that. But other than that, it's a superb location to try and grab sunrise from. So yeah, absolutely great. Um, now I mentioned the other day that I wanted a camera insert for my cameras because I, I just carry too many cam uh, camera bags with me. So I managed to get find something that just contains absolutely everything. So um, this gives me um, the opportunity to pack all of my camera gear in there. So the, the, with the exception of my filters is the only thing that I can't fit in there. So my drone fits in there, all the spare batteries, my SLR, uh, you can see my Fuji there at the back and also my Canon M50, which is brilliant, you know, it's a great addition. And then it just all goes in my hiking backpack, which is just down there. So it just fits in uh, kind of, the, the top of the main compartment and then I can just fit everything else around it. So yeah, superb addition. Um, that's on, that was on Amazon as well. And I think it was 25 pounds, I think. Not a bad little little thing, just to, something just to protect the cameras and all of that kind of stuff. And also all my gear is in there. You know, I can keep all my microphones in there as well. So I've just got one place to go for everything. Okay, so um, that's about me done here for today. Uh, it, like I said, it's been a great morning, so it's definitely it was definitely worth coming out for. So, as always, guys, uh, if you've liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much uh, for watching, and thank you very much for your continued support and if you would like to leave some feedback then pop a comment in the comment box below so until next time guys 